Okay, so in this video, I'm going to continue down the left-hand um, navigation bar on, on the left hand of your dashboard. Um, we've already looked at edit profile and we've looked at the general navigation. Now I'm going to look at um, clubs and teams and how they work for those users who are club users or owners and for those who are team owners. So first off, I'm going to look at clubs. If you're a, a club DOC or if you're a club admin, then the coaching manual's got a great um, tools now for managing education within the club. So when we talk about management features for clubs and teams, it's about managing the education process within the club and sharing information within the club. So to start, we just click on clubs and teams on the um, left hand nav, or we can click on um, clubs and teams in the dashboard nav here. And because I'm a club admin, I can edit my clubs and I can edit the teams within those clubs. So first off, let's look at edit club. I click on the edit club panel and then what I get is a, is a panel that pops out that tells me about the, the, the teams and the clubs that are part of um, my football club. So I can now start to add teams, um, remove teams um, and make changes uh, to how the club appears from this panel. Um, that's on the overview panel. I can then also have a look at the manage my um, club admins. So I can add further admins in here. There's, there is a, um, there's an upgrade that you'll need from, uh, from the coaching manual. So you just need to get in touch with our help desk and we can sort out adding an additional admin in there. Um, editing the club information. So We'll talk a little bit about, about how some of this stuff works in a moment. Um, but first off, let's go back to the overview and let's look at how we can add teams. So I've got, um, on the left-hand side here, is my upgrade overview. So I've got 45 team accounts um, and I have 42 remaining. Now, what we do to create a team is um, just click on the add team icon, call this uh, whatever you want to call it, um, it's important that you put the age group in because it, it um, helps out with some of the other stuff like season plans. Um, put the league information in. And the information about the home grounds is, is useful because we also have now the ability to show a map of where your training is so that the people who are part of your, your club can quickly find out where you're training or where the games are that you play. Click update. And that's now created the team. Now as the club admin, if I go into edit team, I'm set as the head coach for the team because I'm the club admin. What I need to do then is just remove the, that um, member so he comes out of there. And then what I need to do is go and add another head coach. So I can go in here and add this head coach. Okay, so this guy hasn't got an upgrade as a, as a member of the, the team. So what I also get with the club account is the ability to upgrade access for people, um, which is really important because if, um, if they're a free user or if they're a user that doesn't have team permissions, it's important that clubs can manage those um, people and give them those permissions. So I hit upgrade and it'll add this guy in, add it to the team and he's got a license. Okay, so I've now lost one of my upgrades, um, but I have got one of my coaches. If I want to, I can remove him from there pretty easily, and I just go in and, and hit the remove button and it'll take him out. I might have two coaches for this team. So I want to add my second coach in, who's, a, who's, a, who's another assistant. Uh, I just go and add his email address in. And what the system does really now as well, which is really smart, is that if I um, add this chap in, it'll tell me that they don't actually have an account with the coaching manual. So in the past, what this meant was that we had to wait until somebody had signed up. But actually we've built now the ability to, um, to actually just create accounts for people. So I hit that, I hit send invite, and then what that will do is it will create the account and add him in as a coach to my team. 
So now I can see that he's actually um, listed as a, as a coach in my team. Okay, so when I go back to my club overview, I can see now that I have a new team in here. Let's remove that team. But I've got my U10s team here, um, and I am owner and head coach of this team at the moment. Okay, so we've also got the, um, the ability to manage the admins, which we looked at. But if I go back to my locker and look at my club, and view the club now, I can see this is a public view. So actually we can, we can start to share our club page with um, people outside of the coaching manual. And I can see that my team's in there. Um, one of the really smart things about the club uh, account is that actually if I go into um, any of the content, so it's one of the drills in, in the site as the club owner, I've put the club badge on that drill. If I go to print that drill off, then you'll see that my badge appears on the top of that drill. So when I'm sharing that drill with my, um, with my users, then it'll, it'll print the drill off as, as part of that. So back into my clubs, view all the clubs and teams. So this is my own edit, uh, uh, panel for my club. But if I click onto the, the club link, it actually takes me through to the, to the club with the relevant information on there about what they're doing. I can also create teams from this point. Um, so that's the basics of how to add, te add teams to your club, how to set your club up, um, how to add teams, how to remove teams, how to upgrade coaches. Remember, as part of the club license, you do get five teams and five coaches as standard. So you can upgrade um, coaches to, to five of your teams. We do also do bespoke packages of that. So if you want more coaches, then you just need to get in touch with us and um, we'll sort that out for you. Thanks for listening. The next video will look at um, how team coaches can manage their teams.